Welcome back to Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon Episode 10! And, whoa. Uh, we just finished the Festival Temple Castle, the worst dungeon in the game, and now we're gonna be moving on. I love so. how you dodged that bullet right at the beginning. You're so bullet time. That's how fast Sasuke is. I'm so ready for this. I'm, I, now that the biggest hurdle in the game has been cleared, nothing but smooth sailing, because there's nothing but... Okay. It's gonna get a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. And a, there's another difficult spike coming, but there's a great reward at the end. Let's get back to the awesome music for now. Ah. <laughs> Let's get back to the awesome music. Blah! We'll be my man going on for this one. I hope you don't mind. No, that's all right. He fits this music very well. He does. Where are we heading to now? I think I missed that part. We are now heading to Kyushu. Remember, before we went to the dungeon in the last episode, there was like a wall blocking, so we couldn't oh, get yeah, by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now the Peach Mountain guys are gone, so that barrier should be lifted. So that's where we're going! Oh, sounds great. Oh, look at oh, that Oh, yeah! Map. It's, a, it's a big open field for the N64, I mean, you know. Well, yeah. It's, un it's unimpressive compared to, oh, say, The Witcher 3, but hey. <laughs> oh, topical. So the gateway viewpoint is where we're going to now, because, well, cutscene time! Uh-oh. 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 It's Omitsu! Oh, sure it is. The girl from the coffee shop? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Game, her, Goemon's quote-unquote girlfriend, love interest. Oh, really? I, I guess, sort of. No, 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 I yeah. need to know the exact canon of Goemon. They're fucking, okay? <laughs> Whoa! It's all you whoa. need to know. No, no, it's no, all no, you no. need to know. This is a kids it's all you game. Need to know. No, it's all you need to know. I'm, this, I'm, it's all you need to know. This is a kids game. They are walking the bridge hand in hand. That's the extent of it. Well, hey, Omitsu is pretty cool because she just went through all of that from the beginning of the game to deliver dumplings to Kyushu. All these demons and shit. How difficult it's been for us. She, you know, no, no problem. Those fucking dumplings. She carried them all the way. So, gritty reboot of Goemon's Great Adventure. I gotta see it. They've already did that for the PlayStation 2. How about a gritty reboot of Mystical Ninja starring Goemon? Well, how's this for gritty? You, you can't be prepared for what's about to happen. Uh-oh. I'm gonna sit back and uh, just to uh, let you bear witness. Then impact comes in! Oh, wow. That looks like the stuff you go into Hazy Maze Cave in Super Mario 64. That's exactly what I was thinking! Oh my gosh, the bridge is a mech? No, no. Oh. The island is flying. It's going away. Is it teleporting away? <laughs> Bye, Kyushu. You ever seen the invader? That tsunami event where Tom died yeah. by that big, big blob thing. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. Well, Tom's dead. Tsunami's over. <laughs> so, if you miss that, Kyushu is gone. The whole island is just gone. Hmm. I bet those were really damn good dumplings, then. <laughs> yeah, if extraterrestrial invaders had to come and steal an entire, what, city, <laughs> continent? That's an invisible wall, so we can't go after her, sadly. Oh, no, it's idiot-proof. And Yai just practically told us to go see the fortune teller man. You can go to any one... But the one we're going to go to in particular is the one in Uedo. I still can't believe she's gone. It's like I only saw her for five minutes and then gone. You know, other people live on Kyushu. It's a very well-populated island. Millions are probably missing, presumed dead. And we only care about this one lone dumpling girl. Well, I don't know everybody else. You do. But I don't. What makes you think I know him? <laughs> you know, you seem to know every single polygon of this game. 
<laughs> well, that wouldn't go that far. <laughs> you just know how to anyway, play it, right? I guess. Well, anyway, we're going to go see the Plasma Man again. Because the game practically told us to do it. Yes! Because right now we have no idea what to do right now. The answer to everything. Yep. And he's going to help us figure out what to do. That's what he does. That's what I pay his stupid naked ass for. <laughs> yes. Take my infinite money. So in a cold region to the north, there is the Mount Fear, where it snows. There I shall meet someone who will be of great help to me, Plasma. HOWEVER! I must first go to Ueno Castle to undergo one training session. Plasma! Okay! Where is the training place? Oh, shit. Ah, flute. Ah, god. Wait. Alright. Oh, okay. uh, uh. <laughs> I know, in the presence of Plasma Man, you just kind of lose all control. So what, so uh, let's see if we can talk to some people about a uh, training booth around here. Hmm. A training I kinda, booth? I kind of know where it is, but I'm wondering if there's like a townsperson that actually tells you what to do, because uh, Oedo Town is the only, uh, it's the only clue you have. Hmm. Police box, don't go in there. Here, oh, here's that thief. No, stay away from me. Ian! Dame! Dame! Huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. No, no, it's, it's all right. I, I think I immediately regret doing that. <laughs> now you'll be getting requests for it down the line. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. <laughs> so I'll look, I'll look another thief. You bash a child over the head. This is Goemon's house. He lives in the row houses, and Princess Yuki and the Lord have taken up refuge here because the castle that they live in, the castle that they live in, is just far too garish. Uh, I'm far just too... thinking. Uh, you say they came here to take refuge. Big old finger quotes on that one. They kicked him out. He owns the castle. Well, now he owns Goemon's house. Well, we're not using it. We're too busy traveling Japan to save it. Hmm, too busy adventuring, I guess. Well, I mean, well they're, they're keeping it clean, you know. They can, they can, they can hang out there. Okay. That, that castle, it was fucking ugly. I mean, if to get in there, you have to have a chain pipe. I mean, come on. And you have to get a chain pipe, you have to go to the top to Mount Fuji. It's like, you know what? I just live in a row house. It's nice. It's simple. It's easy. You know, whatever. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I think I got lost for a second. And you openly admit that. I openly admit that. So, there's Goemon's house. It's the middle one to the to the right here. Inside you go. And this is actually where we need to be. This is the muscle training gym, where we can train to develop our muscles. Hmm. So we're gonna get fucking strong. We can push a metal box to pretty much go to the north part of the country and the second third of the game. Oh my god, his eyebrows. It looks like he's constantly angry. So we need to be... Goemon for this one. Remember how Ebisu had to hide behind those salt shakers and shit and dumplings from that thing? This is Goemon's version of that. And it's really annoying. Hmm. Really annoying. In the first one where I had a trick to, to Ebisumaru's little training thing, I don't really have one for Goemon's. The trick is, there's these things that are going to come up and try and pop balloons because they have little thumbtacks on their heads and you got to throw metal boxes to stop them. So here we go! The best part is, there's such a delay between tapping the button and going on actually throwing the box. Oh my god. It's so ridiculous. And these things go up pretty fast and it's hard to turn and... Oh wow. And, you know, it's just, oh god, he's already up there. And I don't think they go down all the way almost, so it's like, ah shit. You gotta do this for 99 seconds, I think, so you gotta fucking speed it up. Make sure you aim well, you just gotta get good. Ah! Oh, boo. And then that shit happens. And then you're dumped back out here. Wow. Level two! Alright, come on, man. Game face. Show me how it's done. Game face. Let me show that up. Show me that upside down V. <laughs> Come on, put on your anime eyebrows. Okay. It's time to throw boxes. 
So even if there's not one there, just keep throwing. Keep rotating and keep throwing a box. That's really the best thing I can say. And hopefully you get lucky. <laughs> That's really your tip for this? Hope for the best? Hope for the best! That's all I can tell you! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! That's all I can do, because look, I'm doing pretty good, right? This is what you'd expect to do, and look! Oh shit! Except for that guy, who you probably missed like three times because you were panicking. <sighs> it was too big, you needed to try. Luckily it doesn't cost anything. Not that it would matter if it did. Number three! Why don't you aim for the one that is going up first, or are they going up at the same rate? They go up at random rates, I think. So you, so you have to keep constantly rotating to keep an eye on them. And uh, now, I would employ the tactic of, if you see him getting pretty much up, throw several, quickly. Like, never stop throwing boxes. That'd be a better tactic. Never stop throwing boxes. And yet it didn't help. Oh, wait. It'll do wait. something! Ah! Oh, God, <laughs> man! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh, all right. All right. Power play, man. Power play. Number four! I think by this point, you could have just, like, crossfaded and said, Yeah, first try! That'd be dishonest, though. That'd be horribly dishonest. I want you to... to share my pain here. Yeah, because that always works. Two's really all you need. If you, if they're, if you find they're getting up more up than they should be, double tap them. Keep them as low as they as you can. What rule was that in Zombieland? Double tap? Yeah, double tap. Zombieland. It's rule number two or something? I don't know. That is, it was one of the most important rules. Always double tap. Of course. Look how important it is. It's working pretty good now. You're not getting anywhere near that balloon, huh? Look at Except you. Except for that, dude. Double tap. There you go. Some of them aren't even getting a chance. So, ultimate tip. For real. Here we go. <laughs> keep, keep constantly rotating. Keep constantly throwing boxes. Double tap when they get more than halfway up, and that should get them down there. <laughs> Triple <laughs> tap if they're getting really close. <laughs> I was about to say, just destroy that guy. He was getting really uppity and I had an opportunity because I was keeping them all low, so look at the advantage it, it gives you. So, And look, tw like we got like 20 seconds left and we're kicking so much ass. This is the this is the ultimate tactic. I just want to think, like, where does this muscle training guy find individuals like this who whose sole purpose is to pop balloons with the needle on their head? Well, guys who throw pipes and money at people. <laughs> okay, good point. And, and there we go. Done. All right. And he's like, what? Well, what is it? Look how mad So he now, is. we have the sudden impact magic power. What does that do? Well, it's going to tell you. Throw some money, because we have a lot of it. We can move something heavy and get essentially more powerful. Boost up our muscles. Uh, double our attack power. But we'll also be twice as vulnerable. Oh, what? okay. It works in the same way Ebisamaru goes tiny. You just press C up. But I'm gonna hold off on that for a little bit. Just a little bit. I just want you to experience and witness what it actually does, because I don't think you're quite ready for it. This has been, this has been a really weird game so far, but it's about to get, you know, certainly special. Are you gonna be lifting up, like, entire cities? Is that how crazy we're getting? Okay, not that crazy. We're not getting uh, Kamiya levels of crazy here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Getting more absurd. Absurdly crazy. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Musashi, the same place that we go to actually leave the village and go towards Sazen Town and all that. See so if we're going left. This is also where we got that one fortune doll that one time. And I remember that metal box that we couldn't move? Uh, uh. Well, I saw it. We can show it off now. So here we go. <laughs> yes! You go Super Saiyan. Power up! For like, I don't know, it was like 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Somewhere between there. Doesn't last very long and I hardly ever use it. 
Oh, that's great. But uh, Goemon can go Super Saiyan. I figured I'd show that off at least once. Ah! Oh, that is fantastic. I don't think you ever really need to use Sudden Impact that much anyway. And see, now it's gone. Does Toei Animation know about this? Uh, well, but, like, are they gonna see your video and be like, oh, oh, we got, like, 20 years on this lawsuit, let's do it. They don't specifically mention him being a Super Saiyan. He just, it, it's called Sudden Impact. He's just got the hair, then. And doesn't this predate Dragon Ball Z's premiere in America, or at least when Goku goes Super Saiyan? By the way, if you go down over here, check out what's over there. <gasps> A silver fortune doll. Nice. That's four. So bam, another fucking heart. You sound so like mad that you're getting more health. Well, I'm mad because we're getting closer to the end of the game. Aww. See, look at that. We're about three fourths done now. Oh wow, it's pretty accurate. Huh. <laughs> and uh, I was too busy raging at. Uh, Festival Temple Palace, to mention this, but a great way to deal with this really finicky platforming sometimes is to zoom in. Oh. If you hold R and press C up, like, once, if you press it too many times, you'll just do until, like, a, you know, in Super Mario 64 where the camera locks and you can move Mario's head, it kind of does that. But if you press it in all the way, it makes those platforming areas a lot easier to deal with, because you can see more, it's much more clearer. Nice. Hit that switch and BAM! You know, don't you ah. wish you had like a context sensitive switch that you could hit anytime and just be like, I need uh, uh, platforms. Hey, there we go. Until then, there's scribble knots. <laughs> I actually so haven't much... played that, have you? No, I haven't actually. Well, not much of it, just like probably a demo, but. I might give it a try one day when I can, when I can be asked, but. See, First... look how easy that platforming was because we zoomed in. First thing to write, Goemon. Uh, yeah. And then a ninja shows up. That would be cool. So it might not sound like it right now, but uh, we are about to get my two most beloved favorite songs on the entire soundtrack in quick succession. But first, let's take a look over here for a sec. Where's the music right now? It's just ambience right now. Because we're, oh, okay. we're in transition from the central part of the country to the northern part of the country. Hmm. So for now, we'll jump down here! So if you fall, there's a ladder <laughs> there. This 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 area will be important later, but uh, for now, let's uh, go up this ladder. But first... Ha-ha! You're making it with all this ambiance. I just I just can't handle this sometimes, because your fall should have been accompanied by like danger music, and then I realized you can't take fall damage. So this kind of fits. Well, how about if I recut that scene and put it right here so it has all that fancy stuff you just mentioned? <laughs> Go. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. All right. Um, so, uh, let's do a little bit of exploring in this area, because a lot of stuff is going to be happening in this part of the game, because this is, like I said, the last last quarter of the game before we get to the real end part of the game. So, this area will be important a little bit later, just uh, just a little bit, not too long. But uh, there's another area over here, it's actually a village. This is probably my favorite soundtrack, my, my favorite song in the soundtrack, I'd say. Crank the volume, then. That is nice. Drink it in. This is Festival Village. A lot of cool stuff in here. I think this is my favorite village in the game, too. Then again, that always happens. These Arctic villages are always my favorite types of places to go. That's just how I am, I guess. Yeah, I'm a big fan of snowy type places, too. Always nice, always nice. So yeah, we're just uh, cutting through here. This is kind of like a gateway area. Back there, because uh, there's the. This exit goes to actual Mount Fear. Oh wow, we're already there. Second favorite song in the soundtrack. Oh man, that is nice. 
Almost sounds like the ending to Goemon to my Goemon's Great Adventure LP. <laughs> There's a block of ice here that sounds like we can break it, but we can't. Ice? We we, we just can't. That's kind of like our next real major, our real major roadblock right now. That's our that's our immediate objective. Gotta do something about that block up there so we can make it up Mount Fear. This is the Sea of Japan. There's a gate located underwater, and to open this, I must press the red button in the waters. But you can't really swim in this game. You can only kind of float, the same way you do in Zelda. Hmm. You can't you can't even dive really. This is Stone Circle. This is the portal that we'll use to get to the end of the game. Oh, okay. By beating all the four dungeons and getting all the miracle items. That's how we get to the end. There's one dungeon left. And you know that gate that was underwater? That's it? That's the fourth dungeon? Well, that leads to the fourth dungeon. So. Uh, we're gonna really be taking care of the, uh, the ice block thing in the next episode. But, uh, right now let's head back to the festival village Explore it around a little bit. Maybe have ourselves a little bit of fun. You know, I've noticed while you've been going through these big fields and seeing different types of monsters, I noticed I'd never call into question the birds with the bombs attached to them or the ghosts back being back. It, well, I think you're too Japanified to really question it at this point. <laughs> or maybe it's just a game thing. It's like, you know, it's a video game. I realize it is, so I'm allowed to see weird stuff. At least it doesn't occur in the villages. I mean, you know, it was totally like this in the Meiji era, of course. <laughs> Including the the uh, bedsheet ghosts. <laughs> you, 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 had to, you had to deal with sword laws. You had to deal with corrupt politicians, and you, <laughs> you had to deal with birds dropping bombs. It was it was horrible. Okay, okay, yeah. No, I totally understand. I mean, I I wouldn't doubt any facts that you tell me. Of course, right? No, oh, yeah. You, All right. You, you. We're about to have some fun here. In this place. Can't really get up there for some... Oh, there we go. The ladder was being weird. Let's talk to... He's also the drum player. I don't know if that really does anything. But hey, let's just talk to some people. That's really what you're supposed to do. Just talk to people. I am a little disappointed that we don't actually hear him play any drums. Yeah. Does he fit into the culture? Like, is he a historical figure? Maybe. Probably not, though. Maybe he's a reference to somebody in Japan. Alright, now for some fun. Are you ready? Yep. Here goes! Whoa! What? Bye! <laughs> Later, Goemon! See you on the other side of the world. I found this glitch when I was, like, first playing this. I was just jumping around, and, uh, I just happened to fall through, and it happened every time. It doesn't happen on this side, it's only on the other side that it happens. Well, bye! <laughs> this is, is that... just something that they forgot to make it solid, I guess. Because now you fall through the map. Yeah, I was just thinking, that's a little disconnected geometry. Works oh. every time. And it doesn't count as a death, either. No, you just lose a heart for falling. Wow. The only time you take fall damage is when you glitch through the world. Yep. Do a little bit more exploring around here before we, uh... We take off for the day. So, oh. now we're dealing with a seafood shortage because of something going on in the Sea of Japan. Dealing with that gate. So, we gotta break the ice block to go to Mount Fear to go deal with the submarine that is in the gate at the Sea of Japan. But we gotta get a power first to do so. But we also gotta get an extra power up to do that first. But we gotta talk to a dude somewhere in this village to trigger the flag to go to the place we need to go to get the power up. So while I'm wrapping my head around this, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Missing Windows starring Goemon. Need to go back and get the caviar and the foie gras. Need to save it all. Shit. Now I really want sushi. <laughs>